Is this lengthwise? Yeah. Circumference. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, That Chocolate Vegan with me, Erin Wells, and you read that title correctly. Today, we're gonna veganize pasta carbonara. Let's get started. So typical carbonara or carbonara sauce is made with bacon and egg, a little bit of Parmesan, which nothing about that says vegan, but you know I'm always down for a challenge. Instead of regular spaghetti noodles, I will be using spaghetti squash because she's skinny. What I did for this spaghetti squash was all I did was make several stab wounds throughout the spaghetti squash and I placed it in the oven for one hour on 350 and I let it cool down for an hour before I attempt to cut it because I don't want those burn issues, okay? Still a little hot. For our bacon replacement, per usual, we'll be using coconut chips. The reason I have two different bowls is because I'm gonna be doing two different dishes. I'm gonna be using uh, store-bought vegan Parmesan and also homemade. I've made coconut bacon so much, guys, I can pretty much eyeball ingredients, but I will have the actual measurements down in the description box down below. I'm gonna stir both bowls. They have exactly the same thing in it, give or take. And we're gonna let this marinate for 10 minutes in all the seasonings. Now let's make our homemade Parmesan. And no, no one bought me a food processor for Christmas. So why, uh, oh faithful it is. We're gonna do one cup raw cashews, these are not soaked. One teaspoon of salt, fourth teaspoon of garlic powder, and a fourth a cup of nutritional yeast. Blend it all together. There you have it. I don't know if it's Parmesan, but it's good. The reason I'm cutting this squash hamburger style and not hot dog style is I saw it's supposed to be like a little hack to get more noodles out of it. I, I don't know if I got more noodles out of it or not, but I did. It was fun to cut it this way. I can see the seeds better to pick them out and just discard them and just save the noodles. I, I don't know. I'm not saying y'all gotta cut it this way. It just worked for me. All right, we are done. I'm gonna transfer this to a bigger bowl and uh, salt this Spaghetti noodles. Right, let's season this bad boy on up. Let's put some pepper. Ooh, there you are, I see you. Y'all, that's the only negative about spaghetti squash. I am not the perfect one at getting seeds out. Nobody invited you. Now it's finally time to make our sauce. Let's make our store-bought version first. All right, I've already added some oil to the pan. We're gonna drop in one cup of diced white onion. After the onions start to sweat out, we're gonna add in our marinated coconut bacon pieces. Marinade and all, putting the whole thing in there. Season with some pepper and salt. I'm gonna go ahead and turn our pan on low. And I'm gonna add in our spaghetti squash. I would say that's about two and a half cups. We're gonna do a rough half cup of the Follow Your Heart Parmesan cheese and a tablespoon of vegan cream cheese. Y'all, this smells so good, I promise you. All right, I'm ready to give this bad boy a taste. Mmm, I love it. I love, I mean, the coconut bacon shines through, I'm not gonna lie. Really, all I taste is coconut bacon. Let me add a little bit more on top, just in, okay. That's how I would serve it. I will put it in there and sprinkle some more on top. Oh my gosh, round two with our homemade plant-based Parmesan. All right, we are back with round two. I've already put in the coconut bacon, the onions, the cream cheese. Now all we need to add is our homemade Parmesan. Let's do the same half a cup. Did that backwards, I was supposed to put the noodles in. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and turn that off. My bad, y'all, my bad. Air moving too fast. Oh. I almost had a perfect video. It's still okay, guys, it's still okay. It's still okay. All right, let's give round two a try. Again, that coconut bacon, which is delicious, is overpowering, so let me get some sprinkles on top. I put the rest in our handy dandy mason jar. Knew that was gonna happen. That was way too much, way too much. I don't 
don't know guys, it's so good. It's just different. I can't say I prefer one of the one over the other. Oh my god. It's just good. I finished it. Mmm. Let's see what my taste testers think. Alright, I am joined here with Jabri Hopper. Yes. And Joanna Aldrich Wilson. Ah, I'm so excited. <laughs> so the first bowl they have, guys, is the store-bought follow your heart parmesan cheese spaghetti squash carbonara. Carbonara? Carbonara. Carbonara. Okay. Carbonara. Really delicious. I like the taste. Um, the texture is throwing me off a little bit. Mm -hmm. Is mm -hmm. it like, is it coconut? Yeah, it's coconut bacon. Oh. Mm -hmm. All right, so try some with the little cheese on top too. Yeah, we want you to tell the truth, honey. You the only one who's still like, yeah, yeah. We don't, I don't know. I'm gonna keep it. Taste this with the cheese. Okay. Man, it tastes even better with the cheese. <laughs> You're right. It just looks good. Honestly, I like yeah, it with the it cheese. Yeah. Yeah. That nutty flavor is really good. So I would definitely, I said that before to the camera. Um, yeah, definitely top it with a little bit of more cheese for a little texture and flavor diversity, I guess you would say. Yeah. I was, when I was going with it, I was, oh, man. I blew. Man, this is so good. Man, <laughs> for real talk. Man, I'm not even frank for the cam. This is really delicious. And I honestly mean that. It's really smoky. You can really taste the smokiness coming through this. Mm. Okay. Really good. So part of cheese difference. Um, I like it, mm -hmm. but I think I like the store bought, store -bought. Mm -hmm. the taste better. Gotcha. And I mean, this isn't nasty mm -hmm. or anything. Mm -hmm. I just and it's kind of spicy. Oh, oh, it's just cashew it's just sauce. Like spicy. I just garlic powder. It. <laughs> it tastes. Does it taste spicy to you? Uh, maybe just a tiny it's a bit. Spicy. Mm. Maybe a. There might have been a pepper difference in the in the two. <laughs> Good. Yeah. But this does it does not taste like carbonara to me. Okay. Okay. It's not it's just not carbonara. Gotcha. It tastes gotcha. like a, a veg a vegetable dish mm -hmm. um that has a kind of cheesy taste to it. Okay. <gasps> she made uh, him. No, uh, no, 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 no. Here's the thing. Here's the difference. I'm Neither one of us have had carbonara. She's no, had it. Had it but as I've always said in my channel, it might not taste like the real thing, but is it good? You know what I mean? It's good. It's there, good. It's good. There, you, there you go. So, meat eaters trying to convert, this might not be your dish to like satisfy, but it's a good dish just to try. You know what I mean? It's good. And spaghetti squash yeah, is good. Get my good. step of yeah. approval. Yeah. I'm just going to keep it yeah. one hand. <laughs> It's good. It's good. It just doesn't taste like right. Carbonara. She's had the real thing. I never so. had it before. We're carbonara virgins. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I can't. All right, so. <laughs> till next time. Bye. All right. As always, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe down below, and I'll see you next time. Peace.